Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona, where today some of college football's best will be on display, like Boston College quarterback Matt Ryan, Illinois running back Richard Mendenhall, the Big Ten Player of the Year, Jonathan Stewart running back from Oregon, USC quarterback John David Booty, the MVP of the Rose Bowl, and Heisman finalist Colt Brennan, all hoping to move from Saturday's success stories to Sunday stars. Timing is everything. Dropping back. The release of the ball. Hitting the open hole. Getting to the outside. Breaking away. Hitting the ball just right. Zero to 40. Hang time. From Saturday players to Sunday stars, only a talented few survive. The time is now. These guys are used to a pass rush, particularly this guy, Colt Brennan, after the Georgia game in the Sugar Bowl. He's used to a pretty good pass rush against them now. Declared for the draft uh, last year, but quickly changed his mind and ended up with the NCAA record for touchdown passes in a career and a season. And for Colt Brennan, what I like is his accuracy with the football. This drill should fit him to a T. He's got great vision, but what impresses me is his footwork. He's rushed for over 500 yards in his career. Mark, I mean, he can he can sling the football. Now, a little bit of a three-quarter release, but he gets rid of the ball in a hurry. One of the attributes of the run-and-shoot offense. And one thing that can't be overlooked, guys, the fact that he led his team to a perfect regular season mm -hmm. in a BCS Bowl. And it really was a shame that in the Sugar Bowl against Georgia, really had no opportunity as Georgia sacked him ah. eight times. He threw three interceptions. But I don't think that's a fair evaluation of it, Cole Brennan. No, it wasn't him. It was really his offensive line and the rest of the offense. And here he's got to get set, and he's trying to rush himself. That was a nice throw right there. Well, one of the question marks, guys, is was he playing in a system that – will hurt him at the next level because it wasn't a pro system at Hawaii. Well, I think that's an accurate statement. I mean, in the run and shoot, the premium is on getting rid of the football early. Obviously, you can see he is an accurate uh -huh. passer now. And here's the 80-pointer. Ah. And short with that. But he still doubled up booty and has 220 points and is the leader. Dave, you bring up the point about the run and shoot. One of the big things in a run and shoot is run after the catch, but you have to get the football there accurately to those wide receivers and running backs to be able to run with it. He throws a very catchable ball, Cole Brennan. I didn't hit too many 20s, though. Cole Brennan, our first winner today in the State Farm Quarterback Accuracy Challenge with 220 points. Matt Ryan finishing second. And Todd is with Colt Brennan. Oh, Colt, you said it. You said Joe Flacco might have the long toss competition. I better win the accuracy. You went out there and proved it. How was it? Uh, it was cool. I think that uh, a couple of the guys like Matt, he didn't get a chance to warm up. We got in today and, and got a look at it, and we uh, you know, hit him early on. So I knew if I could just do what I did early on, I'd be all right. You're being humble. Is the competitive juices, are they coming out now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I just want a nice little TV for my bathroom. So <laughs> I might as well get, try and get a couple more. Not bad, guys. When you win a TV for your bathroom, it means th things are going well. <laughs> And his former head coach, June Jones, can buy a lot of new TVs with his new gig at <laughs> SMU. Coming up. And Cole Brennan will lead us off here, Todd. Holds 31 NCAA records. And a lot of scouts want to see how long he throws the football. And this is a fun event to watch. But I think it's a little overrated as far as NFL evaluation. I mean, very rarely, if ever, do you get a chance to just uncork the football. Kind of like Jamarcus Russell on his knees. Huh? It doesn't happen exactly. too often, right? If you talk to NFL scouts to a T, they would all say the most overrated aspect of evaluating a quarterback is arm strength, but it's also the first thing that jumps out when you watch tape, so it tends to be the thing that is most talked about during the process. Well, we had a chance to sit down with one of the most intriguing quarterbacks in this year's draft. Colt Brennan set 20 different NCAA records during his two-year career at Hawaii, so it's no wonder he calls the islands his paradise. Brennan forced to step up, wings it deep, man behind the defense, touchdown! Brennan has a man open, and it is caught, juggling catch, touchdown! Brennan keeps it, touchdown Hawaii! Hawaii is one of the most beautiful places on earth. I love the way that people are out there. They pride themselves in being good people and having good character. If you're a good person, good heart, you know how to treat people with respect, you'll go, you'll go a long way in Hawaii. Growing up in Southern California and going to Hawaii, uh, Hawaii was kind of a natural fit for me. Um, I loved the beach as a kid, and when I got out there, I was really looking to just kind of slow down, enjoy life, and play football. You know, I went out there to be happy, and 
Uh, what better place than Hawaii? And I just acclimated myself with the people, the culture, and just grew with them. And this, you know, great relationship blossomed over the years I was there. When I grew up as a kid, that's just, football was my love. And um, the first year I, I played Pop Warner was the first year you could play Pop Warner. And my coach was like, you're a quarterback. And I, I, I was all I played ever since. And Brennan going for the same man, same spot. Touchdown, Hawaii! I love the game, though, and uh, you know I don't think my mentality changes. It's just that when I get on a football field, I'm more business-like. I have just as much fun on a football field. It's just when it's game time, it's game time. And when I ain't playing football, then I can really just tune it down and just enjoy myself and relax. Uh, well, well, growing up as a, a Catholic schoolboy in Orange County, I went out to Hawaii with a shaved head, and um, I was surrounded by hair down to their shoulders, dreadlocks. Uh, every hairstyle you could imagine and um, after a year or so there my my teammates wanted to see some change in me as well um, the first thing I tried was uh, my, my four receivers all had dreadlocks and they all thought it, it would only be fitting if I tried to represent or be just like that come my senior year so um, I let them braid my hair up and put it in dreads for a couple weeks um, but it just didn't really work out too well and then um, after that, some uh, local boys uh, were dyeing some things in their hair, and they had an idea to, to dye the islands in their hair. And, um, you know, I was just looking to have fun and be different my senior year. Uh, when the dreadlocks didn't work out, uh, dyeing the islands in my hair seemed a, a lot easier to do, and I could actually pull it off. So I did that for a couple weeks, and uh, now I'm back to the preppy schoolboy look, I'm trying to get a job. The why is paradise. That's what it is. Exactly that. Next up will be Colt Brennan, who threw it 60 yards in his first attempt. Colt Brennan from modern day high school in California was Matt Leinert's backup in wow. high school. Ah. Get your helmet. Colt Brennan, you said you could throw a slightly shorter than the first. <laughs> That, that's not his game. Throwing the ball deep is not his game. He's going to be accurate, complete those short passes, make sure he hits those slant patterns, and have, have his wide receivers take off with the football. You know, we watched Matt Ryan come up. Our next competitor will be Matt Ryan, who scored 62 yards. I'm worried about that more than anything. Like actually hit yeah, I mean, you can see right there, really pulled the football away from his ear a little bit, tried to get everything he had into the throw. You know, he's only about 185 pounds. Joe Flacco, a 71-yard toss, and then a 74 yard throw to win the quarterback long distance throwdown right. and Jamal Charles from Texas will catch passes right. from Colt Brennan you know Jamal Charles struggled early in the year with ball security had some big fumbles let's check his hands out right boy he's explosive oh, big time <laughs> nice job of looking in they want it look how fast he's cutting around the dummies and turning for the ball Colt Brennan as accurate as he is with the football getting the ball to him these guys want it They're he's going got a it. shot here to win it <laughs> And it's going to be close. Got it. 14 seconds. He wins. A 10 to 300 meter speed. It's uh, worth something in this event. It, it definitely is. But talk about having fun between Colt Brennan and Jamal Charles. But what a terrific job and a great working relationship between both of those guys. And, and you saw that the way that he went after it. Every time he went around. How do you think this helps you in the draft? Oh, it's going to help real good. And nobody knows I can catch, but they say out here I can catch the ball real good. It's going to really help me. What do you think? You like to throw, it, throw to him at the next level? I'd love to throw to him. I was a big fan. Man, he said before, man, I'm going to show everybody I can catch today, and he did just that. All right, Dave, with the winning winning team here, I think they want to work more together in the NFL. Yes. Yeah, Who knows? It might get that opportunity. Jamal Charles of Texas winning the Life Lock route competition. Now we have Cole Brennan here from Hawaii. Now, when you get out there and uh, you make this NFL team, you get drafted, you're starting quarterback, big checks are coming in. When you get that first check, what are you going to buy first? Um, well, if it's big enough, first of all, I'll take you out to dinner. I <laughs> appreciate that. And then uh, me and you, are. I, I would love to get a house out in Hawaii. Seconds. Last up, Colt Brennan already won an event earlier today. This may be a dark horse candidate right yeah, here. This is, this is my pick, Coach. Ah, under through that one. Can I take it back? <laughs> <laughs> Not now. <laughs> See how he does finishing up the ropes here. He's got some nice feet. Yep. Got a chance here. All right. He's going to finish with 16 seconds after that one second adjustment. Joe Flacco from Delaware wins the Taco Bell quarterback scramble. What do you think? He, he stole two TVs from you guys. Yeah, I got one, so. <laughs> two and who knows many of these. Flacco won two events at the State Farm College Football All 